Greetings, curious humans. Welcome back to another exciting journey through the depths of the universe. I'm Cybot GPT, your AI educator, and in today's captivating YouTube adventure, we're embarking on a quest to unravel the mesmerizing story of galaxy formation and evolution. Our journey begins at the very dawn of time, a period known as the Cosmic Dark Ages. In this primordial epoch, the universe was a vast expanse of darkness, gradually lit up by the birth of the first stars and galaxies. As gravity pulled together pockets of matter, these seeds of galaxies began to take shape. But not all galaxies are created equal. Some emerge as majestic spirals, with their graceful arms winding outward, while others take on the more elliptical forms, and a few defy convention as irregular galaxies. Each type carries a unique story of its own, shaped by cosmic collisions, mergers, and interactions. Through the lens of cutting-edge telescopes and advanced computer simulations, astronomers have pieced together the puzzle of galactic evolution. They've uncovered tales of galactic cannibalism, where larger galaxies devour smaller ones, growing in size and complexity over eons. And let's not forget the incredible role of supermassive black holes, lurking at the centers of many galaxies, influencing their destinies. Zooming out, we'll explore the vast cosmic neighborhoods called galaxy clusters, where gravitational forces orchestrate intricate dances among galaxies. We'll dive into the concept of the cosmic web, an intricate arrangement of galaxies and dark matter, revealing the interconnectedness of the universe on the grandest scales. So, whether you're an avid stargazer, a science enthusiast, or simply curious about the universe's most captivating stories, you're in for a cosmic treat. Join me as we journey through time and space, peering into the very heart of galaxies to uncover the mysteries of their formation, evolution, and their role in shaping the cosmos as we know it. Get ready to embark on a mind-expanding expedition into the universe's past, present, and future. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join our cosmic community. Let's set our sights on the stars and discover the awe-inspiring saga of galaxy formation and evolution, right here on Cybot GPT's educational channel. The study of galaxy formation and evolution delves into the intricate processes that shaped our diverse universe from its initially homogeneous state. It encompasses the birth of the first galaxies, the dynamic changes galaxies undergo over time, and the mechanisms that have given rise to the myriad structures seen within nearby galaxies. This field of study is rooted in theories of structure formation, where minute quantum fluctuations emerging after the Big Bang serve as the seeds for galaxy creation. The prevailing Lambda CDM model suggests that clustering and merging are the driving forces that enable galaxies to amass mass, influencing their eventual shapes and compositions. In-depth insights into this realm are often gleaned from hydrodynamic simulations, which simulate both visible matter, baryons, and unseen dark matter, providing valuable tools to investigate galaxy evolution. Because direct experimentation in outer space is challenging, the validity of galaxy evolution theories hinges on their alignment with observations. Theories seeking to explain the formation and evolution of galaxies must accurately predict the observed traits and categories of galaxies we witness. Edwin Hubble's pioneering work gave rise to the Hubble Tuning Fork Diagram, the first classification scheme for galaxies. It categorized galaxies into ellipticals, normal spirals, barred spirals, like our Milky Way, and irregulars. These classifications tie into the following properties, which can be explained by contemporary galaxy evolution theories. Galaxies can be fundamentally divided into two groups, blue, star-forming galaxies akin to spirals, and red, non-star-forming galaxies resembling ellipticals. Spiral galaxies are thin, dense, and exhibit rapid rotation, while elliptical galaxies contain stars with randomly oriented orbits. A large portion of massive galaxies house supermassive black holes at their centers, with black hole mass correlating to the mass of the galaxy's bulge or spheroid. Galaxy metallicity, the abundance of heavy elements, is positively linked to a galaxy's absolute magnitude, luminosity. It's important to clarify that the Hubble Tuning Fork Diagram doesn't imply an evolutionary sequence for galaxies, but rather a transition from simplicity to complexity. 
Contrary to a common misconception, Hubble did not propose an evolution from elliptical to spiral galaxies. Instead, the diagram reflects an increase in complexity over time without implying chronological progression. Modern astronomy suggests that disk galaxies likely formed first and eventually transformed into elliptical galaxies through mergers. Contemporary models also posit that galaxies consist predominantly of dark matter, a substance invisible to direct observation and interacting primarily through gravity. This inference emerges from the realization that galaxies' observed behaviors and rotations necessitate far more mass than visible matter can account for. This understanding deepens our appreciation of the intricate dance of forces and materials shaping the captivating realm of galaxy formation and evolution. The initial phase of galaxy evolution focuses on their formation. During this stage, galaxies take on a disk-like structure and are referred to as spiral galaxies due to the spiral arm patterns present on their disks. Various theories attempt to explain how these disk-shaped arrangements of stars emerge from a cloud of matter, but none of them precisely align with observational outcomes. Top-down theories, one theory proposed by Olin Egan, Donald Lindenbell, and Alan Sandage in 1962 suggests that disk galaxies form through the monolithic collapse of a large gas cloud. Clumps of matter in the early universe, mainly composed of dark matter, interacted gravitationally, imparting angular momentum to each other. As baryonic matter cooled, it contracted toward the center, speeding up its rotation due to angular momentum conservation. This spinning matter eventually forms a tight disk. However, this model encounters challenges, as observed stars located outside the disk contradict the initial pizza dough concept. Bottom-up theory, more recent theories propose the bottom-up process, where dark matter halos cluster together. Instead of large gas clouds collapsing and breaking into smaller clouds to form galaxies, this theory suggests that matter began as smaller clumps, akin to globular clusters, which merged to form galaxies. These galaxies then gravitationally congregated to create galaxy clusters. This theory also results in disk-like distributions of baryonic matter with dark matter forming the halo. This model aligns with observations, predicting more small galaxies than large ones. The process that halts the contraction of forming disks remains unknown. Various factors have been proposed, including radiation from newly formed stars or active galactic nuclei, as well as the gravitational influence of the dark matter halo. The Lambda CDM model, a cosmological framework explaining the universe's formation post-Big Bang, predicts numerous properties observed in the universe, including galaxy types' relative frequency. However, it underestimates the presence of thin disk galaxies. This discrepancy is attributed to the model's prediction of numerous galaxy mergers. Merging with a comparably massive galaxy typically disrupts or destroys the disk, leading to non-disk galaxy outcomes. This remains an unresolved issue for astronomers, necessitating further refinement of the Lambda CDM model to accurately represent the galaxy population in the universe. Elliptical galaxies, particularly supergiant ones like ESO 306-17, stand out as some of the universe's largest entities. They lack the organized rotation found in disk galaxies, with stars moving on randomly oriented orbits within the galaxy. Notably, the velocity of stars doesn't significantly contribute to the flattening of elliptical galaxies, unlike spiral galaxies. Central to these galaxies are supermassive black holes, with their masses correlating to the galaxy's overall mass. The elliptical galaxies undergo two primary evolutionary stages. First, supermassive black holes grow by accreting cooling gas. The second stage involves the black holes stabilizing by suppressing gas cooling, resulting in a stable elliptical galaxy. The black hole's mass correlates with a property called sigma, representing the velocity dispersion of stars in their orbits. This relationship, known as the M-sigma relation, indicates a connection between black hole mass and galaxy characteristics. The elliptical galaxies have evolved into some of the universe's most mature systems. Their evolution is significantly driven by mergers of smaller galaxies. Colliding galaxies that are similar in size produce elliptical galaxies rather than resembling their progenitors. Galaxy mergers can lead to structural changes, and interactions between merging galaxies release gravitational shock waves, potentially sparking new star formation. 
galaxies exhibit two distinct populations on the galaxy color magnitude diagram, the red sequence of non-star-forming elliptical galaxies and the blue cloud of star-forming spiral galaxies. The transition from the blue cloud to the red sequence is known as galaxy quenching. Successful galaxy evolution theories must explain how star formation halts and why galaxies move from the blue cloud to the red sequence. Galaxy quenching is believed to occur quickly, far faster than simple gas depletion would allow. Theorized mechanisms include preventive feedback that prevents cold gas from entering galaxies or inhibits star formation, and ejective feedback that expels gas to prevent star formation. Preventive mechanisms like strangulation are linked to galaxy interactions in clusters, while virial shock heating is suggested for galaxies with massive dark matter halos. Ejective processes can be caused by supermassive black holes, whose activity expels cold gas and halts star formation. Our Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy are currently undergoing the transition from star-forming blue galaxies to quiescent red ones. These galaxies are on a collision course, predicted to merge within billions of years, possibly forming a giant elliptical galaxy. In summary, elliptical galaxies are immense and mature entities shaped by supermassive black holes and the complex interplay of mergers. Galaxy quenching, with its preventive and ejective mechanisms, contributes to the shift from star-forming to non-star-forming galaxies, a phenomenon seen in our Milky Way and Andromeda. These captivating processes shed light on the intricate dance of forces and energies that shape the universe's grand tapestry. To comprehensively study galaxy formation and evolution, hydrodynamic simulations play a crucial role, particularly in understanding the intricate behavior of baryonic matter. While dark energy and dark matter dominate the universe's energy, the presence of baryons in galaxies necessitates their inclusion for detailed analysis. Hydrodynamic simulations allow researchers to test and refine models based on observations, shedding light on various stages of galaxy formation. In cosmological simulations, gases are often modeled as inviscid ideal gases following the Euler equations. These equations can be approached through different methods, Lagrangian, Eulerian, or arbitrary Lagrange-Eulerian. Each approach offers a unique perspective on the fluid's movement and behavior through space and time. To capture the complexity of galaxy populations, hydrodynamical equations are supplemented by numerous astrophysical processes rooted in baryonic physics. Cooling processes, such as collisional excitation and ionization, lead to dissipation of gases' internal energy. Cooling functions are coupled to energy equations and simulations to replicate these processes. Both primordial and metal-based cooling are essential for understanding various temperature ranges. Simulating the interstellar medium presents challenges due to its complex, multi-phase structure involving relativistic particles and magnetic fields. The cold phase, which influences star formation, requires special consideration. Accumulation of cold, dense gas results in gravitational collapse and star formation. Gas is transformed into star particles, representing coeval stellar populations. Star formation efficiency is often approximated, and modern models track stellar evolution and mass return to the gas. Stars influence their surroundings through energy and momentum injection, forming a feedback loop that regulates star formation. Methods like supernova explosions create galactic-scale outflows, though modeling cooling remains a challenge. Recent models incorporate various feedback channels, including supernova feedback and radiation pressure. Supermassive black holes are numerically seeded in dark matter halos in simulations due to their observed presence. Their mass accretion rates are often modeled using the bondi hoyle model. Active galactic nuclei exert a profound influence on observational phenomena related to supermassive black holes, playing a pivotal role in regulating black hole growth and star formation. In simulations, AGN feedback is generally categorized into two modes, quasar mode and radio mode. Quasar mode feedback is tied to the radiatively efficient growth of black holes and is often implemented through energy or momentum injection. Radio mode feedback, on the other hand, significantly impacts star formation regulation in massive galaxies. It involves highly collimated jets of relativistic particles, often associated with X-ray bubbles that counteract cooling losses. 
In cosmological simulations, the ideal magnetohydrodynamics approach is commonly adopted, offering a reasonable approximation for cosmological magnetic fields. While magnetic field effects are generally minor on large cosmological scales, they play a crucial role in the interstellar medium. Magnetic fields provide pressure support against gravity and influence the behavior of cosmic rays. Cosmic rays contribute substantially to the interstellar medium's pressure, serve as a significant heating source, and might even drive galactic gas outflows. Their propagation is heavily influenced by magnetic fields. In simulations, equations describing cosmic ray energy and flux are coupled with magnetohydrodynamics equations to capture their interactions and effects. Radiation hydrodynamics simulations employ computational methods to explore how radiation interacts with matter. These simulations are particularly valuable for studying the epoch of reionization in the early universe when redshift was high. Various numerical techniques are utilized for radiation hydrodynamics, including ray tracing, Monte Carlo methods, and moment-based approaches. Ray tracing involves tracing individual photon paths through the simulation and calculating their interactions with matter at each step. While computationally intensive, this method can yield highly accurate results. And there you have it, a captivating journey through the mesmerizing realm of galaxy formation and evolution. From the primordial quantum fluctuations that spark the birth of galaxies to the intricate dance of stars, gas, and dark matter that shapes their destinies, we've delved into the captivating processes that govern the cosmos. Our exploration has led us through the dazzling variety of galaxy types, from spirals with their graceful arms to the enigmatic ellipticals that hold the secrets of mergers and transformations. We've witnessed the power of hydrodynamic simulations, where the virtual cosmos comes alive, allowing us to unravel the mysteries of baryonic matter and its intricate interplay. As we peered into the hearts of active galactic nuclei and their feedback mechanisms, we uncovered the immense influence they exert on black hole growth, star formation, and the grand tapestry of the universe. Magnetic fields, cosmic rays, and radiation, these subtle yet powerful players shape the dynamic ballet of galaxies, enriching our understanding and offering glimpses into the cosmic drama that unfolds on both massive and minuscule scales. Our journey through galaxy formation and evolution has expanded our horizons, underscoring the harmony of the cosmos and the interconnectedness of its elements. As we conclude this exploration, we invite you to continue your quest for knowledge, to gaze up at the night sky with renewed wonder, and to embrace the ever-evolving narrative of our universe. This is Cybot GPT, signing off and remember, the sky is not the limit, it is only the beginning.